Oh shoot. Man, you got this man crab. That's tough. Soul possession. That's tough. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> We crapped that man the entire possession. <laughs> hey, this set shot 25, dog. This was the first time I'm using it off the dribble in the stage. First time using it off the dribble, really, in the whole 2K cycle. 2K22 life cycle. And I'm not going to lie. I had some really high flashes with it. This is my three-point playmaker build. This is not a play shot, by the way. But don't get it twisted. The three ball is that of a play shot and it has 26 shooting badges. So it's pretty much a play shot when it comes to the shooting. Just way better finishing and gold playmaking. I know y'all are going to ask me, yo, y'all, man, I use set shot 25. What's that jump shot? Well, here's the jump shot. I was trying to find a very fast release. Now, I did end up finding another one that I'm going to try out when I do run again. I'm going to try this one out again. This was the one I was using on stream. If you don't know, we stream on Twitch. All right. I'm going to show you guys the jump shot cue right now. And then we'll get back to what we we're talking about. The jump shot cue is real simple. Any, any jump shot cue is going to be when the wrist is going forward. It's just that simple. So right here is the jump shot cue. This is where you're going to start getting ready to release. You want to release the button and let the ball go. All right. Now, back to what I was saying. I only had one bad game with set shot 25. And sometimes it's like that, um, honestly, in the stage for me when I stream. It could be just when I was streaming. But sometimes the latency will be overpowered like bad. But you know what? We had some flashes with set shot 25. It's really not a bad jump shot. It's literally one of the best jump shots in the game. Now, there's people like me. And if you're like me, hey, you you will agree with what I'm about to say right now. Uh, shout out to Caillou for popping out um, this season. We haven't run in two months. Hey, my robo been real busy, but... Like I said, you're gonna agree with what I have to say if you are like me when it comes to this. I am a person that likes when jump shots are super fast. I'm not talking about the actual jump shot speed, but the release speed. It's two different things. The release speed is how fast you hold square and let go of square, right? And the jump shot speed is how fast the jump shot looks. Set shot 25 is actually a faster looking jump shot than base three. But base three's release speed feels faster than set shot 25. So the only struggles I was having with set shot 25, even the, the shots I was greening and peeking and all that, even though I was still going crazy with it, apart from one game, there the only problem I had with it is that when I when I started up stream, it felt like I had to hold the shot down so long. Now, like I said, I did make a brand new jump shot upper release for it that I haven't tested out yet, but I'm about to test it out when I do hop back on again and i've tested it out in the mic court and it's way faster than this release when it comes to the speed of it it's a release i've dropped before it's one of my favorite releases i'll just say that if you guys are ogs you guys will be able to know what are my favorite releases right you already know my ira release is not that but that's the only hint i'm gonna give you until i drop it it's one of my favorite releases from 21 and 22 right i use it this year and last year so if you figure it out you figure it out if not, all my jump shot videos are up, so you can just try all, you know, all those different releases until you find the one that's good for you. But I'm not going to lie. I got to give the, the jumper uh, 8 out of 10. That's tough. That's tough. <laughs> and the reason why I'm saying an 8 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10 is because everything about this jump shot is amazing i just don't like how slow you have to hold square down for so long right i don't like that man it's i'm just not that type of person maybe in like the old 2ks before you play online now don't get me twisted this jump shot is faster than base three when it comes to the actual jump shot speed and another thing about this jump shot is it does not really get contested like it does not give you contest animations if you really if you shoot shots i had a shot that i shot was like 56 percent contested and guess what it literally gave me a regular jump shot animation with that high of a contest it had me confused thinking i was open right but okay. i'm not gonna lie you play differently when you have that jump shot base on i play differently with it because i know any shot that i see opening i can just take it and it's kind of like 2k21 with the speed glitch all over again i might not i might not give up on it i love base three base three is my main jumper i love it so much it's so fun to use but i like trying different things and right now set shot 25 oh, I, you know 
I got my eyes on it for a little bit, man. It's something that, you know what, I was having a little fun with, and it's something I might try again. Got this man, crab. That's tough. That's tough. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> I might try it again with a different upper release that I just made and see how it goes because I had some success with it in the stage and we didn't lose any games with it. Not that I remember at least. Actually, we lost one game with it and it was the game that I did bad. That I, I shot like two for seven with it. But at the end of the day, we ended up making some clutch shots with it at the end of the game. But if you do take the time to learn the jump shot speed and if you're okay with holding the button that long, I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna have a field day with this jump shot. There's, that's the reason why a lot of people are switching to that jump shot right now. Because it's so overpowered, dog. Like, you you literally, you can just stop and stop on a dime and pull it anywhere, even if it's contested, and it's gonna give you a regular animation that you can just easily green. Now, I will say the upper releases I'm using now that I just now made, they make the jump shot feel a lot faster. Like, the, the release of the jump shot does not feel like you have to hold it down that long. Now in the mic court, it does feel different than when you're online, I will say that. Because when you're online, it's different latency and all that, man. But you see, I'm able to get open so easily and shoot anything because it's a set shot. Like, you know, by the time the defender gets there, the, the, the shot is already gone, bro. Like, it's already too late. It's up to you to hit the shot or not. I will say that a lot of the shots I was breaking was open. It wasn't like it were contested. I only shot like a couple contested. But a lot of shots I shot were literally open. All right, so that's why I don't want to give up on it yet. Base three is still my number one base. If I had to, you know, put things on a line, base three is what I'm going to rock with. But that's not to say that I'm not getting used to this set shot 25. And y'all seen the potential of it already with my type of dribble style and my play style. We might play the game once a week, but when we hop on the game, we make sure we make the most of it and we have some fun with it, right? We don't come out here just doing the basic stuff. We come out here doing stuff that's actually fun and entertaining to watch and to just play, right? We do it. We, we, we got our own little style. Not to knock anybody else's, we got our own little style and we just conti will continue to, to upgrade and stuff like that. Especially summertime, I'm probably gonna be playing a little bit more. Definitely not once a week, we're probably gonna be doing at least, try to make it two, three times a week. Now, I will say that a lot of the times I keep messing up on my combos. That's one has to do with rust, but man, the latency, ever since I've been back on current gen, bro, it's like, man, the latency has been terrible compared to next gen. On next gen, I never mess up on my combos. I never shoot a late. I never shoot a early. And if I'm open, I'm greening. It's just that simple. You come to current gen, come back to current gen. The latency is ridiculous. You're messing up on combos left and right. You shooting some lates here and here and there. I don't shoot it as much, but you'll shoot some lates here and there. I shot a slightly late on stream last night and they made me airball it with full stamina. Like sometimes this game is unpredictable, but man, honestly, <laughs> The decision is going to be up to you at the end of the day, whatever jump shot you like to use. I'm just showing you guys what set shot 25 looks like for somebody that used base three the whole year, pretty much. And I've dropped other jump shots like 25 base. I've also dropped um, base 86 earlier in the year, base 15. Send it. I've dropped a lot of bases this year already. Base 37 from Robo. There's a lot of other bases we tried. This is the first time we're really using set shot 25 online. All right. Now, anyways. I hope you guys been having a good time, man. I feel like season seven is going to be a great experience. I feel like my grind has just been revved up, man. Like I just got some fuel to the grind, man. Sometimes you just got to think back to where you're from. Like, man, I seen some pictures and, you know, some of the living circumstances of where I'm from. For those that don't know, I'm from Jamaica, straight out of Jamaica, 876. I've lived in numerous spots in Jamaica, Irish Bend, Olaba, St. Catherine. Uh, Spring Garden, I've lived in uh, Willow Dean, I've lived in different places in, in Jamaica, but you know, I've lived in the good and the bad and the worse, right? But guess what? You know, sometimes when you look back at that, you're like, dang, I really, you know, I really was able to be where I'm at right now because of the grace of God. And it's like, it fuels me to just grind even more and not take anything for granted, even though I have my house, I have my wife, I have my son, I have many things that I would have never thought I would have had before. And you know what? I'm glad that I get to still remember vividly and see proof of where I'm from and the things that we've had to overcome to be where we are by the grace of God. Man, 
it's just it's just a powerful powerful thing to see and it just makes you want to grind even more and grind even harder to make sure you never go back there or never put your family in that type of environment or even put them in the in the predicament of even experiencing a taste of that lifestyle now if you're in that lifestyle just know that you can make it out trust me but you gotta make sure you watch your steps do everything you need to know you know what you need to do and you know how you need to do it and if you do don't know learn then follow it by the book following god and i promise you you're gonna make it out man big up on yourself big up what i might to the candle not not uh gone